Okay, we're gonna tie a new keg. N never tried the video or the camera or the computer camera before, so we'll see how it works, Evan. Uh, my favorite egg hook right now is a uh, 02408 Gamagatsu octopus hook. Uh, I'm just using a size four. We could also do size sixes for the Pear Marquette. TMC 105 is also one of my favorite hooks, though I think this one is a little better for customers because it, it self-sets itself and it just doesn't let go. You can use colored thread if you want. I'm just going to be simple and tie it with white, which will look good for the pattern I'm tying. I'm going to put my inner color in and uh, I just tie the or cut about an inch of chartreuse here and you want just a little wisp almost everybody ties their nuke eggs too thick and that is a, a problem you want them thinner than you do thicker they seem to work better that way just start that with a few wraps pull it over I've tied this one a little back. It's the first one I've tied in weeks. And then I trim that off somewhere back there, but I can really tie that, cut that off, and make it as big as I want. Now I'm going to take my outer color. I cut this a, a smidge longer than the other, though it doesn't really need to be. I'm um, going to, again, thin uh, on the materials. I've, I've cut another hunk, and this is a lighter color, so you always go from darker to lighter. I lay that over the top. Give it a few wraps, and now I pull this right down through and bring it around. And we've just done it. We have to trim it yet. Again, I could put a different colored head. I could put a little tinsel in here. Um, I can do quite a few more things to dress it up, but that's your standard nuke egg. Tie this in all kinds of colors. This is one of my favorites for midwinter. I don't think the color's coming out very good on this camera. I want to trim this uh, halo off bit behind the green so the green ends up being a little inner dot. These don't look great when they're in your hand and dry um, or, in the shore, or in the shop shelves, bins, but they look great when they're wet. They look so much better than a hardball. The advantages of a nuke egg are that it has a translucent look in the water just like a real egg. Light filters through and it has a, a translucent look. It catches in the fish's teeth uh, with these long fibers that tangle and catch in their teeth. Um, and it might give you a little advantage uh, uh, on a delayed hook set. It's easy and fast to tie, as you just saw. I haven't tied one in months, um, and you can knock out, uh, I can tie 10 nuke eggs in 12 minutes. You can actually, if you're on the water and you need a little smaller fly, I can take my scissors in my boat, and I can actually trim this thing smaller and come up with a micro egg in a pinch if I need something smaller, something that's just about impossible to do with any other egg pattern. There you go. That's the nuke egg. Simple and easy.